good morning children and welcome to my new class so today we are going to start this new chapter and this is nouns this is chapter number 3 now we all know what a noun is so let us very quickly see the definition of a noun a noun is a word which means a person place thing animal or idea now if i say nikita grandmother teacher these are all people then i have book ball pizza these are all things then i have philosophy love happiness these are all ideas <laughs> similarly we have places and we have animals so anything that names any of these is called a noun now let us talk about the kinds of nouns so what are the different kinds of nouns here we have proper noun collective abstract common and material noun so one by one let us see first of all let us talk about a proper noun now a proper noun is the name of a particular person place or thing a particular person right for example if i say venkat mr kapil anuradha these are the names of the people i am talking about a particular person similarly we can have titles also mr mrs professor doctor sir etc then we have institutions like if i say united nations coca cola doll museum these are all specific institutions then we have the white house the taj mahal etc then we have places like europe there is only one europe right london antarctica sahara these are all places then hinduism quran bible buddhism so these are the number of you know examples of proper nouns proper noun means when we are talking about a specific thing or a place or a person or an object now one more important thing to note down is that a proper noun will always start with a capital letter right now let us talk about common nouns now as the name tells us common noun common means it's a name that is common to every mem member of a class or a kind like here see if i said venkat mr kapil so these are men or we can say boys so similarly for people we'll have like doctor architect teacher tailor nurse these are all common nouns but anybody can be a doctor i can be a doctor you can be a doctor x y z anybody can be a doctor so doctor becomes a category so when we are talking about a category a particular category it becomes a common noun similarly we have animals rhino it can be any rhino any lion any whale like that similarly fruits and vegetables then we have places and objects right i hope this is clear to you moving on let us talk about the third category that is collective noun now what are collective nouns a collective noun is the name of a group of persons taken together as a whole so name of a group of persons or things taken together as a whole like if i say team class so here i am talking about a group of people right jury gang crowd like this for things i can have a bundle of books i can have a bunch of flowers a fleet of ship a quiver of arrows like that similarly we have herd flock litter of puppies pride of lions like that so these are a number of collective nouns which they have given you and i want you all to be thorough with all these collective nouns for people then we have collective nouns for animals and then we have collective nouns for things this is really very important and you should be thorough with all of these next moving on we have material nouns so as the name suggests material noun a material noun is the name of a material of which a thing is made like for example it can be made up of a liquid a solid a gas it can be wood it can be metal anything rubber cement anything then we have abstract nouns 
Now, what are abstract nouns? An abstract noun is a name of a quality or an action or a state. Like we cannot touch or see them. But we can feel them, experience them. Like honesty, love, happiness, youth, poverty, etc. Now, these are the formation of abstract nouns. This is also very important. Like if I have happy, it will become happiness. Nervous, nervousness. Similarly, marry will become marriage. Then ill will become ailment. So you have to remember that always the root word will not be taken for that. They can even change. Like adult will become adulthood. Live or live will become livelihood. False, falsehood. This is how you are going to do it. Again, this is something which you will have to learn and accordingly we will be doing the exercises. Now, if we have uh, done all this very nicely, I don't think you will have any problem doing the exercise. Let us see about exercise 3.1. Here you have to pick out the nouns and write whether they are proper, common, collective, material or abstract. Right? For example, if I say... Rishabh has always been a student of extraordinary intelligence. So, the first is Rishabh, that is a proper noun. Then I have a student. Student becomes a common noun. And intelligence is abstract. So, similarly, you will have to do exercise 3.1, all the parts. Moving on, we have 3.2. Choose the odd one out. There are four options and out of that you will have to choose the odd one out. The one which does not fall in the category of nouns. Like if I have Nile, Aunt, Shivalik and Gujarat. So you can see all these three are proper nouns and Aunt is not a proper noun. Right? So this will become my odd one out. So the option B. This is how you will be doing the exercise 3.2. Now, we will be discussing all these things in my Zoom class. So, I want you to be ready with all the exercises done very neatly in your books. Now, exercise 3.3, you just have to circle the odd one out and you have to tell its kind also. So, very easy. Third, bundle, pair, trees, jewelry, band and litter. As you all can see, these are all collective nouns. And trees is the only word which is not a collective noun. So, we will write here tree and what is its kind? It's a common noun. So, this is how you have to do 3.3. I hope this is clear to you. Again, in exercise 3.4, you have to fill in the blanks with appropriate nouns. So, here you will have to fill it with the proper nouns. Proper in the sense, whatever is a suitable noun, not proper noun, suitable nouns. Like there are 40 students in my class, right? This is how you have to do it. So, you have to do till exercise 3.4. These will be discussed in my Zoom class. So, I hope it is clear to you. Please go through it very nicely. Do wherever the learning is required and then do the exercises very neatly. So, have a nice day and keep learning.